Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. Woo. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, outstanding, official Miss Jamaica. Wait. Well, go on, you know, my dear. <laughs> I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean, all I mean, all I mean, our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. We're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101. We'll pop up first in line. But y'all always see us on the street and be like, man, I love what y'all doing. Keep it up. How can we support the brand? Should we buy merch? What should we do? This is what you need to do. Under each and every video on YouTube, including this one right here in the description section, there's a link that says join our membership. Click that link, follow all the instructions, and that's how you get all our con all of our exclusive content that people have been asking for. Be like, man, where's the full length interview for this, 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 this? This is where it is in our membership section. Thank me later, and thank you for all the love and support. Wow, man, we got a guy here don't need no introduction, man. He out to PA, man. He in the building. One more again, one of the original alumni for Boss Talk 101, man. My boy, he's a Leo, is in the building today. Yeah, yo, man. Oh, man. Hold up. Yeah. Man, listen, man. Good to have you, bro. Great to have you, Appreciate actually. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate man, you. You know, uh, man, I, I be watching you. You know, you my guy. I'm going to call you and everything. Everything is everything. Every time I hit you, you answer the phone. You're going to give me encouraging words when I feel like going out. I think I'll go a little further easy. I'm going to go and Come do on. it. You know what I'm saying? You one of them guys that I call and, and been calling you ever since I started this show. You know that. That's First true. time I went to L.A., I called he's I said, he's somebody pissing me off. He know who I'm talking about. I was like, I'm not going to do this. I'm not doing this, bro. And he's was talking me off the ledge, man. Come on, sometimes you got to do this, you got to do that. And I'm like, okay. Nigga, I'm going to do it. Thank you. That's yeah. real, though. <laughs> we swapping game. Yeah, that's real. And I ain't never switched up on you, Albert. No, no. Man. So, man, what's going on with you on this internet, man? Corey Moe, man. Hold I'm on, hold on. Man. No, before, I'm going into that. The I'm Corey going Moe, into let that. Me, let no, me at least do this. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Go no, ahead. go ahead and do what you about. Man, <laughs> I want to commend you and the wife on the elevation of the show. Oh, okay. Yo, man, man, I'm, we'll I'm, let you get that off. I'm I got very entertained. Every time I look around, man, it's a new guest with some new hot content so yeah. I just want to salute y'all on that man thank you man like I said from the very beginning you always had my back and I and, and like I said I always say it I never stopped saying I met you in this parking lot you was hustling, hustling. yeah hustling <laughs> like me so oh, it's just sometimes things happen that was way way before Boss Talk ever was even thought of so wow. Think about that for a minute and to see us still here doing what we do and then figure another way out for me and you to connect and do our thing. I think that's dope. You know it's what I'm saying? even more powerful. It's crazy, ain't yeah. it? And nigga can't call, and I was talking to you about Pimp C way back then, so that tell you like where my mindset was at. I was like, man, is these legitimate shirts and is this legit? Like, is he, is, does this Too family get the quit? money? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what's crazy? Yeah. I got a surprise for you, but I ain't gonna say nothing right okay, now. Okay, okay. See how then came full circle? <laughs> Yeah. Come on, man. So, all right, I'm going back to Corey Moe, man. And did you Corey want to say Mo. something for No, I'm okay. curious to know what the surprise is, but well, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> go see. Go, Corey Moe, like, just the, the deal is, man, I thought you heard you heard Pimp saying the songs a lot of time. Corey Moe, you know, yeah. you'll hear him say that. And, and, and I, you know, I called him. You know, I reached out to him since I started the show because I was like, man, I'd like to sit and talk with him because right. I, I, I heard he was in Atlanta and, and and I just basically was trying to reach out like I do to all the ones that and I ask you like about this but I don't think I even asked you about Corey really I just I think I asked I had talked to Bobo a little bit about Corey that's who gave me his number and he was, I was like man you know this dude like I all behind what Pimp said on the song mm -hmm. is what the reason I reach out you know what I'm saying right. but then to hear you come out flagrant like you did it was like damn did I make a mistake because I be vibing off of what you doing so what was that all about First of all, let me say this. Corey Moe is who he is. He a hell of a talent. But it was a flaw move that they pulled many a years ago that I just sat with. You know what I mean? I talked to Mama Wes about it and whatnot, but going public about it, I never did that. So I was in my feelings the other day. He posted a video, and it was a video with Pimp. And Pimp was saying, you either real or you fake. It ain't no in-between. And I'm thinking to myself, nigga, the move y'all pulled was fake as wow. So are you trying to say you fake? You know what I mean? And I just got heated mentally and shit. And I just 
took it to the internet and, and went to talking my shit. It ruffled a lot of feathers. What was what did you say exactly? I basically revealed a conversation that I was privileged to uh via three way. Okay. Um it was a a bunch of people sitting amongst each other making plans to take some unreleased music to the label to cut a little old backroom deal. Now, the wife, uh, she has all rights to do whatever she want to do. What is it called? Common what? Common law. Common law. Not common law, but this what? is a commonwealth state. So, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, the, the surviving spouse has the rights to whatever you have. You know what I mean? So that's what she can do, and nobody has nothing to do with that. It was just the slimy way they put the game down. They was excluding people and specifically saying my name and Mama West's name. Wow. That's what pissed me off. And so I don't give a damn how anybody feel about it. That's what I heard, and that's what I held all that time, and that's what I released. So if you feel some kind of way about it, fuck you too. Wow. You know what I mean? You niggas sat there and said, make sure, this is their words, make sure you, you don't tell Heezy about it, and make sure you don't tell Mama West. And that shit pissed me off. So when I seen them post that video, I just went on and dropped that shit like a little pat on the ass. Take that with you while you walking through this trail lane. Wait a minute, though. You know this going to stir up big problems. And I know you got some phone calls after you did that. I did. I did. <laughs> and, and basically, where is your mind state? Do you, do you regret doing it now? Or do you are you good with what you said? I, I told my truth, okay. which is a witness truth about four, five, six niggas sitting around hearing this content. Two of the niggas left the room and came told mama immediately. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So this is nothing hidden amongst the, the inner circle. It's just nobody went public with it. I think 17 may have talked about it on his channel a couple of times, but it's just I pinpointed it because, like I said, I was on the other line of the phone, and this was two days after Mama West, I mean, after Pimp had died and me and Mama West was together chilling. So when I got that phone call, I'm trying to console Mama West Cause we mourning, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. So that was very insulting, and that's what I dropped. It ruffled some feathers because they felt like talk about it amongst, you know what I'm saying, the inner circle. I probably could have approached it that way, but I didn't, you know what I mean. Now trying to go on a rant about it and and build up commotion and views, that ain't that ain't my no, mission. It was, it was just They're not my heart. content, you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Uh, I heard some some rebuttal. He lying. Oh, I'm gonna make up some shit like that. Like, I'm just this don't have shit going on nigga finna just make up some shit. Like, nigga, that's just some old funky ass truth niggas ain't want to get out. What do you think when people say that, why you just didn't pick up the phone and call the Corey Mo and talk to him straight up? The reality? When Pimp died, it was like the movie Soul Food. The people who didn't really fuck with each other just completely stopped fucking with each other. So the illusion of thinking everybody fucks with each other Unfortunately, it's just untrue. So when he died, the niggas who was already feeling like, ooh, I don't want to fuck with them niggas anyway, they just went to their little section or they part and did what they did. Uh, I had a little feeling of inclusion and unity, thinking that we was building something. But I hurry up and corrected my mind and realized, man, niggas is out for themselves. So nigga, be trill like you are and do what you do and stand how you stand. And ain't no <laughs> knock needed pigeon toe motherfucker can deny it because the proof is in the pudding I ain't take no fall back I ain't take no break when I finally took a break I let niggas know I'm finna go do this trucking shit so I can back myself on everything I'm doing and all this shit was public come on man so let me ask you this like uh, when it come down to Pimp C and Corey Moe as far as you could tell their relationship was dope yeah, they had a solid ass solid relationship, relationship. Mm -hmm. so he and he he's producing right yeah but, he's, a, he's a hell of a producer Okay, so at the end of the day, when it come down to... And engineer. And engineer. When it come down to... How did you... You didn't think that it was going to be something that ruffled her feathers when you said this? I, The way I did it, I didn't say her name. You know what I mean? But if you're saying his wife, I guess it would include her. Um, I wouldn't ever go and just attack her. For one, she's from Port Arthur. She Pimp C wife. So what I said is what I said, and it was over and done. I don't have a bunch of more ammunition to drop on her. Whatever she is, whatever she was, whatever she bought to do, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. So out of respect, that's a woman. That's my nigga uh, wife. 
and she from PA. So I said what I wanted to say, what I meant to, meant to say, and that's it. Now, however they feel about it, they got to do what they got to do. And 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 you one of the guys that have a history with Mama West. You one of the guys that have a history with Pimp. You got a history with Bun. When you think about making the statements that you made, when it came down to that, do you think about the fact that she has a daughter by Pimp mm -hmm. that that may throw some signals to her or she may feel a way about something being said as well because she didn't, she was very young when he passed away. Right. So now she's just seeing the glimpse of what he was in the aftermath. Right. Right. So did you, do you even think about stuff like that when you, you know, when you go out to say, Oh my, I got to say my truth. I damn near feel like it's a lot of shit. Mama and pimp probably would want me to talk about. Okay. Uh, Bun, he called me, and he told me, just call, you know, Corey directly, boom, 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 this and that, this and that. I respect Bun. Bun has done a lot for me in my career. Uh, did I want him to do more? Anybody would, you know, desire a bit more. But at the same time, he didn't have to do what he did. What he done. So if he would have told me, look, my nigga, take that shit down, this and that, this and that, I would have left it up for a couple more days just to <laughs> f with him. Then I would have took it down. But he left the decision up to me. Yeah. And he told me to talk to the both of them, which I talked to uh, Mike Mo, Corey Mo, okay, brother. Okay, okay. Level-headed dude. I got him to understand what, where I was coming from. I understood what he was coming from. And he said some things, you know what I mean, that kind of, uh, how could I say it? He agreed with me. Wow. You wow. know, he agreed with me. And he also said, man, we were young. Shit might have happened that way. So yeah. anybody out there talking about, I'm making up a lie, if a nigga gonna admit to it, find a lie. So, yeah. now talking about the daughter, the precious daughter, I've reached out to her, you know what I mean, after she's become of age and let her know that I'm here. Uh, I respect her, that's why I won't drag her mama. I respect the PA factor that she from PA, that she is Pimp C wife, and she is a woman, and she is a Christian's mother. So I won't drag her, my nigga. I can get on this internet and drag a motherfucker and make them wanna come yeah. drag me. You know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. I can bump them goddamn gone. So you been so, you been holding back. Well, I ain't got shit. I ain't got shit. I ain't got nothing for. Her. All I had was that. All the other shit in there, it don't matter. It matters not to me. Yeah. I'm a motherfucking grandfather, a father, a brother, a leader. I, man, I do so much shit to where I'm not sitting around thinking about this person or that person. Now, when somebody rub me wrong, yeah, I do what I do. Yeah. But at the end of the day, my nigga, I got a whole empire that I'm running and building on my own, respectfully, morally, in trio. Wow. In Texas, man, like I said, people look at you and they know how you, you've been doing this, you've been repping this for many, many years, man. Nobody can say that you was not there and that you didn't play a major part in what you, you know, had to do. They will. Well, they can say it, but you got video and everything else that shows you being there with Pimp and a lot of time with Mama West and all that. So the, the proof is in the pudding. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So they can say whatever. But when it comes down to it, you are part of that whole situation. And you from PA, you want original Dundotters when it comes down to that. Oh, that is like Dundotter, go let that Jamaican <laughs> Coming out, go! <laughs> so I'm just saying, really, like, I just, I always valued seeing you and what you had to say from the time I started messing with this internet when it come down to the pimp, you know? So, man, I just thank you for always giving it up and, show, you know, sharing. Because a lot of times people will say, like, you know, they say pimp, you see pimp the sex tape, you see pimp this, pimp that. And, and at the end of the day... You gonna get the good, the bad, and the ugly on the internet. Right. You gonna have, but 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 what tripped me out? And I talk to certain people. They be like, man, it's just they pimp. You say pimp. They say pimp name a lot. What if you don't? Then nobody talk about them, and then that legacy just kind of dies Gosh. out. So I don't listen to the people that say he doing this or he doing that. Cause at the end of the fucking day, what I do, it's gonna benefit my nigga son. You see what I'm saying? That's the trillest thing I can do. After his death, my nigga still got children out here that has life. So not saying his name and not creating ways where they can get a sliver or a slice of something, that ain't no trio shit. So I don't expect that out of untrio people. Wow. They not going to understand trio shit. So I just walk the way I walk and don't give a fuck about what they talk. Wow. I, I seen where, and I, I, 
I didn't get to see Bun, but I seen I was down at the Essence Festival and he had his truck there and I talked to him on the phone. Mm -hmm. Um as far as the Bun was going through some legalities with Trio Burgers and all kind of stuff. It was right. in the public. Like have you uh have you been back down there to Bun to to have you been to Trio Burger? Yeah, yeah. Uh and have you been have you been back down there since all the riff raff and how's things going? Okay, so when uh when Pimp Youngest Son got out of prison. Okay. That was one of our first stops to eat was that's Trio Burger. Good burger. And uh, that's Great a media. Burger. Yeah, definitely. That's a media on that. But I haven't been back since. Okay. Um, now, what he have going on with that, that that would be his personal business. Yeah. I only would be concerned if, you know, he's okay as a person. Yeah. But I don't cross the, the lines of getting in his personal business. Yeah. I've always been that friend that if a nigga want to talk to me about some yes, shit, sir. we going to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to pry. I, and the reason I ask because once it becomes public information, it's just out there. You know what I mean? It so is. you don't know uh, what a person is really going through. You just know the way the public is laying it out, right? Right, right. Um, there was also a time when he when he had to go to court. You know, I hadn't talked to you since then as well. About the, yeah, yeah, yeah. About, yeah. about the house invasion and stuff. I remember that, yeah. Like, a lot of people were asking questions. Why would he get on the stand and all this other stuff? And you know again, my, my text messages with him was are you all right? You okay? That's it. You good? That's it. That's don't, what I would don't say. Don't worry about what niggas saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'm considerate enough to have love for my PA brother to know that this nigga got the world coming at him. Yeah. So I'm not gonna add my emotions on top of the flame when he got to deal with family members and society with all they warped this way of thinking. Yeah. So I'm gonna be that one less nigga adding that fuel to the flame. Man, you know, with Bun being here and you and people, you know, guys that been around, man, it's just best, like when I gave him the award and whatever, like it's best to give people their flowers and their roses while they're here. Most like definitely. if something happened to Bun or something, these people would literally go crazy because they love him. But why not show Bun why he's here? Why not show he's a Leo while we here? That the love, that's what I try to do. I think our people are twisted. We've been, uh, how could I say, um, put through so much trauma that we show our love sometime in a hateful way. Wow. We don't understand that most of the time it's all about inclusiveness. We just want to be included. So when you exclude people, that hurt more than you telling somebody, fuck you. That's real. The inclusiveness is where people forget to, you know, share with one another. Wow. You know what I mean? I, I want to just say, man, like I said, there's a lot going on in the internet move fast, bro. Yeah. And you, I was looking at the Breakfast Club when Sauce Walker said that Bun wasn't from uh, Houston, right? And 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 then Bun came back and said, uh, you know, no no point, no bad taken, and and he said that he was actually born in Houston and was went to the. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Like, um, well. I might have knew that because somebody, I think Bobo mentioned that to me a long time ago because right. I asked questions, man. Yeah. And what did you think when you seen that and what was your take on it? Because this is public information. Everybody's talked about it on the internet. I forgot the, the whole context of what Sauce was saying, but I understood what he was saying. Oh, he was talking about Drake doing songs. Yeah, because me and artists. you talked about that, and you yeah. were like, I probably would have disagreed with you, E. And I was like, no, I was like, because I, I was on the point of, I don't like when people mention. Uh, Bun B. Right. I don't like when people mention uh, people that, that, that y'all, I'm an older nigga. I'm older than Bun. Yeah, yeah. I'm older than Pimp. So at the end of the day, I've been around listening to this music, living this Texas till, this Texas lifestyle for a long time. When when Nicki Minaj said, when she was talking about Bun and Pimp, I didn't like that. <laughs> I don't like no nigga she mentioning was, no niggas from Texas period that, that I rock with, right? <laughs> so she was meddling hard. Yeah. But she, I just say, why she bring them in? I don't know if she want to be pimp still. Above me. And yeah, I, she was funny than a mother. But still, I'm just saying, I, I'm the type of dude don't even play with it at all. Like, yeah. the one thing I can say to you is, I look at it different yeah. because I know they ain't for to play with Jay-Z like that. Yeah. They not for to play with nobody else like that. They don't. Shit. They don't. You want to name a Jigga time? Nigga play with Jigga all the not, time. Not, 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 no, not no, not no, Nikki, not no, not no oh, Megan nah. the Stallion, nah. not no Megan, not nah. no. They wouldn't dare do that. So look, from from what you were saying about the sauce thing, I caught yeah. a different end of it. Okay, because I'm a P eight trio ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. The fuck your figure. So while y'all listening to what people saying about him not being from this or that. 
They got the whole PA going crazy. Man, we well, y'all can have that nigga there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that, see, I would heard something about that early on too from a dude, from a dude and a lady. Remember we were down in New Orleans, mm-hmm. I was doing them interviews. Yeah. And that lady was like on Bun hard, like he don't never say he from PA. But then he you look at Bun saying he say I'm from PA. He you know? always said, but he he repping his truth. His his dad was in Houston, and like he said, he stayed in Houston. So if a man can't tell his truth. Without people getting split and divided, it is what it is, man. A nigga from PA by way of Houston, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. So I get it, man. That makes sense. Like I said, I'm just not. You know me. I'm not trying to play play no games when it come down yeah. to this this foundational bill of what we are and who we are in the South. Uh, period. So I ain't trying to hear it. Even the that's Louisiana real. part as well. Right. Uh, that's why I went down there with Birdman the other week. Uh, that's why I, I'm, I'm always rep this Texas Louisiana thing. Period. I'm from right five miles. You good down there? Yeah, man, come on, bro. We you still gonna give me a plate of oxtails and a four ounce of bull for this interview? <laughs> come on, man. Say they they pulled up. Look, listen, food. listen, man. <laughs> they pulled up. Uh, no limit people pull up and pick me up. Everybody oh, start man. picking me up. That's real. Not right, baby. They show us around the city. They love Boss Talk. So boss talk they ain't trying to Boss Talk 101 a real no deal. Official. <laughs> it ain't no games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I just, I, like I said, I don't play with that because I know already in these other cities, they ain't playing with they legendary people and the people they love. So I don't let them play with ours. That's how I look at it. Now, now you I, looking at it from who wrong, who right, and he from here. Now, I, I, I'm just, I'm tired of niggas just colliding. Like, if we can't help each other come up, leave each other a fuck alone. Like, yeah. it's too much bickering about this or that. Motherfuckers is immature, mentally retarded. God Everybody got a mouth and an opinion. Let a motherfucker talk. Well, you, you, like I say, I can remember some of your interviews, man, where you went on different places, whether it was on lives and all kind of stuff. You've had a lot to say with this internet. Come on, man. Uh, you even put on a ninja suit one day. Damn it, man. Yeah. You know what I'm well, that was the ninja. <laughs> it helped me lose down there 45 pounds, but Herbert then ate that shit back. Bang up. Up, man. <laughs> well, hey, man, like I said, I just want to have a quick conversation with you, man. This probably go out tomorrow, to be honest. And let me get the oxtail, man. <laughs> man you talk, that's the oxtail queen right Come there. On. But since he's been on a diet eating yeah, no, it ain't meat, no meat for like I two months, I ain't been cooking no oxtails. You've been able to, okay, two no months. meat, no, no, no bread, no meat. Wow, that's it. That's what's just up. chilling, just taking it easy. That's you all. You drink any beer? I don't drink or smoke. No forty ounces. I don't do drink mm-hmm. smoke. I don't. I, I quit doing that whenever you know I changed my life. Yeah, natural high. For show, you see the show, it keep going up. I heard right. you refer to the show as your ministry. There you go. That's all it is. Okay. So it's Christian faith podcast. Well, I don't <laughs> think it's Christian faith. No. I think it's just spiritualism. Basically, finding a, a point where a person can connect. You know what I'm saying with something other than just tangible things. Right. You know what I'm saying. If we get out here, if I was all about Bentleys and it'd be a Bentley parked out there. If I was all You're about looking good though, yeah, yeah, but it, it don't matter. <laughs> Wherever I want, that's what I would do, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I want to try to make people understand it ain't just about There you go. Yeah, we got tangible things, the things go. that you can't see. You sound like a minister yourself. Come on, man. <laughs> I think we all a little bit Come minister, on, you know, when it comes down <laughs> to it, man. But check it, man. I appreciate you. You my you my guy, man. Hey man, appreciate you. You know man. already you my guy. Y'all keep and elevating. For sure, man. And thank you for coming out, Boss Talk. for you, though. I got you. I'm coming back. Boss Talk. 101, man. Make sure you got to like, subscribe to the channel, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Hey, hey,